All right, so we have Ranger Patty here. She's agreed to answer a couple of questions uh, for me. So um, who came here? Why did they come here? And how long did they uh, stay and why did they leave? So the folks that built these cliff dwellings, Gila Cliff Dwellings National Monument to be precise, are known as the Mogollon people. Uh, they were active in the area from about 200 uh, CE to around the early 1300s. Um, this particular group of people um, who built these dwellings were known as the Tularosa Mogion. They came here into the area um, in the, around the late 1200s. Um, and this is during a time uh, that scientists called the Great Drought. It was a period of about 25 years with virtually no rain throughout the entire Southwest. So the Tularosa who were coming into this area uh, were probably looking for a reliable water source, a decent place to call home, a safe place to call home. They would have found it here in Cliff Dweller Canyon for a couple of reasons. The first one is a Cliff Dweller Creek, which as you go along the trail heading up canyon, you cross over about nine times. That's fed by an underground spring about two miles up the canyon. So that would have been a reliable water source even during the drought. The natural caves themselves were formed uh, almost 500, 500,000 years ago. Um, so when the Mogion came here, they would have found it moving ready in real estate terms. Um, they, uh, it has a southern facing exposure, which is really nice for in the winter time. You can take advantage of the low angle of the sun to passively heat uh, their homes during the winter time. In the summertime, the uh, caves are nice and cool. Uh, sometimes the temperature can be, uh, difference can be anywhere from five, uh, 10 to 15 degrees cooler than what the outside temperature is, especially during the summer. Um, archaeologists believe that these, uh, these cliff dwellings were built sometime in the 1280s maybe 1290s, and that's based on tree ring dating. The, uh, it's believed that the Mogion were only here for a relatively short period of time though, uh, perhaps as short as 20 years, perhaps as long as 60 years. So that's not very long, uh, one or maybe two generations. Why they left and where they went uh, are still uh, big questions. We can make a couple of educated guesses, however. Um, by the early 1300s, which is estimated when the Mogion left this area, the climate was improving. Perhaps they felt it was safer to move out of these um, relatively isolated areas and to recongregate with maybe kinsmen or other clans, starting to form what is now the modern uh, Pueblos, such as Hopi, Zuni, Akama, and the Rio Grande Pueblos. Um, in terms of where they went, like I said, um, modern uh, Modern Pueblo people claim descendancy from the Mogollon, so it's possible that they might have moved farther north and east of here. But the, the uh, Tarahumara down in what is now northern Mexico, an indigenous group down there, uh, they claim also claim descendancy from the Mogollon. So it's possible that they were moving in different directions and forming new groups after the early 1300s. Perfect. And uh, what are some of the do's and don'ts when you visit here to kind of maximize your enjoyment? Absolutely. So we recommend that folks drink plenty of water uh, with them on the trail. It, it, it's only one mile uh, total, but you are climbing a short steep section of almost 200 feet and that's in the sun. So at least one bottle of water per person is recommended. Uh, the trail itself is rocky and uneven, so we sturdy footwear is recommended. The caves themselves, I'm sorry, the dwellings themselves are over 700 years old and 80% original construction. So as you're walking through the dwellings, we ask that you be mindful of that and help keep them that way by as much as possible avoid touching and leaning against the walls, staying on the trail at all times, as well as taking only water with you uh, into the monument. Things like food, gum, flavored beverages, and so on will attract pack rats. They like to burrow under the walls, and we like to avoid that as much as possible damage to the 700-year-old masonry. Got you. And if you have a dog like I do? If you have a dog, like you, uh, if you have a dog um, we do have kennels. Um, they're in the shade. They're free to use, uh, so you're welcome to leave your dog in the kennel while you're visiting the monument. Okay, well, perfect. Well, thank you for your time and answering these questions. I really appreciate it. You're very welcome. I hope you have a nice trip.